The Bible is made up of over 30,000 scriptures. As the scriptures unfold within the pages of the Bible, we find examples of godly and ungodly people, historical events, glimpses into the future, God's promises and his expectations. It is all there from Genesis to Revelations. The problem is not a lack of information it is that with more than 30,000 scriptures, one does not always know where to locate the information quickly. Therefore, we sometimes give up the search without knowing what God's take is on the situation. Below are some topics or situations and verses that may be helpful in those circumstances. 1. I am lonely I have no friends. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. NIV. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20b, And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Psalms 139 to 1 2, You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. Two, you know when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. Two, I am sad someone I love is sick, or I did not get my way in a situation. Psalms 147 to 3, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalms 34 to 18, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalms 55 to 22, Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you, he will never let the righteous be shaken. 3. I am scared. I am being bullied at school, Psalms 23 to 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6, So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Psalms 27 to 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid? 4. I feel betrayed and or unloved, my best friend no longer talks to me, Psalms 147 to 3, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Romans chapter 8 verse 39, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8 verse 31, what, then, shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? 5. I feel guilty because I know I have sinned, 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Romans chapter 8 verse 34, who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who did more than that, who was raised to life as at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 6. I don't like the way I look. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 7, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 3 to 4, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. For rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Psalms 139 to 14, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, so God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God he created them, male and female he created them. 7. I am worried about a test at school, Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. 
The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who uh, have been called according to his purpose. No matter what we are feeling God has the answer for us within his scriptures. His word reminds us that we were created by him and that he loves, protects, provides, and forgives us. It also tells us that he wants to hear from us. He is always available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, anytime and anywhere. He is our awesome God and has given us a wonderful gift his holy word, it is ours to use. Dear Lord, thank you for your precious gift, the Bible. I ask that we desire to use your holy word to help us in our day-to-day -day lives. I ask that along with the desire we are granted wisdom so that we may understand the scriptures. In Jesus' name, Amen.